Over the years, there have been shifts in attitudes about bilingualism. An increasing number of children, one in five, are raised in homes in which English is not the first language. In other homes, including many in which English is the first language, many parents desire and make efforts to teach their children two languages. What is your reaction to these current trends? I am thrilled with these trends. People have known, many people have known for a long time about the benefits of bilingualism. The most obvious being social benefits, being able to speak with many different people. Professional benefits are very important, especially today in our global economy. Cultural benefits. And more recently, as far as public awareness of cognitive benefits, some researchers have been onto this for a very long time, but I think it's finally catching a lot of, a lot of energy and a lot more uh, public awareness. And some of those benefits are very compelling um, in terms of um, mental control, attention, problem solving, multitasking, which I think is very uh, compelling, and some recent research indicating that bilingual individuals, the onset of dementia might even be up to five years later. Um, Ellen Bialystok, who my students know is one of my all-time favorite researchers, and she's been doing a lot of work in this area for quite a long time, and and has just really shared incredibly important information that, that again, I think is catching a lot of attention. So I'm really excited about this. Um, it's, it's intriguing for people who are uh, natively bilingual, so to speak. It's very intriguing for individuals who, who do speak English at home and, and, as you mentioned, families who still want to teach their child another language. Um, some other research coming out of MIT, Dr. Kovelman at the Brain and, and Cognitive uh, Science Group has even shown that early bilingualism, maybe the zero to three age range, that that might provide some sort of buffer, might actually ameliorate uh, negative effects of low socioeconomic status on literacy. Very compelling research is coming out, so I'm very excited about it. So Brenda, what are some of the benefits of being bilingual? Uh, there's social benefits, being able to interact with people from a variety of cultures. Uh, professional benefits, um, gosh, both my spouse and I, we've had experienced ourselves tremendous benefits and advantages being bilingual. Bilingual SLPs, I regularly tell my students, and, and I think it's fairly common knowledge that um, if you go up against a candidate who only speaks one language, in, in a lot of cases you certainly do have an advantage. Um, more subtly, there are some, some language benefits in terms of bilingual adults that seem may be able to learn words with more ease than monolingual adults. Uh, in terms of a skill called metalinguistic skill, our, our general awareness about language uh, seems to be enhanced in bilinguals. Cognitive benefits in terms of scientific problem solving, uh, controlling, regulating our thoughts, inhibiting irrelevant information, and even the onset of dementia might be delayed in bilinguals, which again I think is very exciting for a lot of people. Um, so I think there are numerous benefits and probably a lot we haven't even found out about yet. Well, Dr. Grumman, thank you for coming out to talk to us about issues in bilingual speech-language pathology. We really appreciate your time. My pleasure. You're welcome.